So today I'm going to be reducing or cutting back a silver birch. I've never done it before and I'm winging it. Right, hi guys, welcome to the video. So as I say today, um, I'm at a regular client's house. I usually do a hedge monthly. Um, good customer. Uh, and she's asked us to uh, come and trim the silver birch. Now uh, I've been doing her hedge for a year. Uh, she used to get this um, birch trimmed back every two years because of COVID. Uh, it hasn't been cut back for three years, so it's quite large. Uh, well, I think it is anyway. I've never done uh, something like this before. Um, but you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? So um, I said I'd take it on. Um, this is a pricing video. I'll give you the price at the end again. Uh, I'm also using my um, my new steel combi, the pruning attachment. So I thought again, I may as well film it. That'd be interesting uh, for those who are especially uh, looking to buy, you know, a combi unit or whatever. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm I am genuinely winging it a bit. Um, I, I did one other tree, but it was just like literally giving it a bit of a haircut at the top. It was a similar size, and I got the they only used the hedge trimmers and the extension pole and kind of like kind of shaped the top wasn't cutting through any you know decent bits of branch or anything like that so uh, completely different really so this is the first time so um go easy on the comments i'll tell you the price at the end hopefully me uh steel combi um unit with the pruning attachment uh, is nice to use i've used the streamer and all that uh, it's it's good it's, it's nice and lightweight anyway so i'm looking forward to this um and i'm hopefully going to film it all and at the end um just give us your tips and that um you know i'm sure there'll be people watching this who uh, do tree work regularly uh, this is about as far as i would like to go with tree work i, I wouldn't do anything bigger because it's yeah I, I don't know what i'm doing really um as i say i've got to start somewhere uh the customer's looking after the waste so that's why i'm just going to pile it up for it and uh yeah let's get going right okay so i'm in the garden now see if i can get it there it is behind us there and um it's quite high see there yeah so it, it gets mingled in with the tree behind it but it kind of comes up to about there roughly so i'm going to reduce it all the thin bits at the top there cut it down about there something like that um but yeah so there's all this underneath um and obviously next door there as well that might not be that bad the, they're not too thick at the top but i uh, will say anyway Okay, so I've set up camp in the corner. Um, I'm hoping because I've got the uh, the the long attachment, um, I'll not use have to use the ladders, and it'll make life a lot easier. So there, that's that's better. You can see it there, without the other trees behind it. Um, so all the, the the thin stuff's coming off, and I'm leaving like the thicker branches. I've just come back to the van because uh, the last big bit of branch that's uh, sticking up is hanging right over the neighbours and I think they've got what looks like uh, bamboo uh, so if I chop that it's just going to go straight up in the bamboo so I'm trying to think of something to like um, something so it doesn't drop and I'm not sure if it'll work there'll be people here saying uh, looking at this thinking it'll be such an easy thing to do so let us know in the comments if I'm uh, yeah, making hard work with this, but 
I always keep loads of bungee cords in the van, so, and that's that's a bracket for a bush, uh, a brush. <laughs> so what I've done. see here is I've hooked the bungee cord either side of the bracket and I'm hoping if I can get that high enough up the branch and then tie the bungee cords onto the tree it might stop it from crashing down that's the plan anyway let's see what happens Right, so that was the result. Um, I think I angled the cut enough, so it tipped the other way. Uh, so I'll do the same again here. And I uh, learning all the time on this one. It's uh, really enjoyable. Right, uh, that's me done. Uh, I've come to B&Q, I need to buy some compost for my next job and just uh, planting a few little mini rose bushes. Um, so yeah, so at the end of that job, uh, I'm not sure, I'll have to obviously on the edit go back and see what I managed to film. Um, I don't know if I've got the waste there, but I basically um, chopped it down, put it in the corner because the customer said they'll just dispose of it bit by bit. And uh, I filmed that as well on a separate video, so uh, that'll be linked at the end of this video. It'll be in the description, so feel free to check that out. Um, on the price, so this was a one, as I said, uh, she's a regular customer, a really nice lady. And um, it was a good opportunity to um, use the pruning attachment for the first time and um, prune my first tree. Now, I'm happy with it, the customer's happy with it, I've learned a lot. Um, so it was a really good uh, job to learn. Um, what I personally would have done, because I, I chopped all the, the tall bits off and uh, then I got her out and uh, had a little chat with her and I personally would have cut all the tiny little straggly bits and literally just left the big, uh, you know, trunk type, uh, the big trunks. I, <laughs> I, I think I'm a gardener anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I would have done that, put a few more bird boxes up and just cut away any like thin straggly bits or, you know, uh, and that type of thing really when we're trying to say yes to make a bit of a feature um, but she said her husband likes likes it when the leaves come on and um, there's, there's bits bits where the leaves will come through so yeah she's she said leave it as it is I'm happy with that so I said right fair enough um, as I say I thought it was a good opportunity to um, learn and use my uh, pruning attachment so I charged 75 quid without waste um, I did offer to take the waste away, but I said that would be 40 quid again. Um, what would you guys have charged for that? It's always a tricky one with waste as well. So, um, yeah, there's price in the job and there's price in the waste. I always price separately just to give the customer an option as well. So that, that tends to, I found, uh, work better. Um, 75 quid. If that was another customer who I didn't have a regular job with, and you know I'd, I'd done trees before and I didn't want to get a video out of it you know because I always think these videos are beneficial with it being first um, you know I like to show mistakes and I like to be honest and upfront and just say look I've never done this before have a watch tell us what I'm doing right tell us what I'm doing wrong and I'll learn from you as well uh, I, I probably would have charged 100 quid for that uh, so yeah 75 quid but I've learned I've got a video out of it uh, 100 quid probably for that size obviously if it was any bigger then yes uh, I'd have got a bit more uh, let us know what you think I hope you've enjoyed it um, it's come out nice I don't know I'm hoping the cameras uh, picked that up uh, yeah it'd be nice in the comments <laughs> uh, check out my channel if you're new and hopefully I'll see you in the next one cheers guys bye